Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can make this cool torn paper effect for something like a comic book cover. <clears throat> so what you'll need for this is you'll need a paper texture and um, you'll need to bring that paper texture inside. So I'll just go ahead and reverse this whole effect so you can see how I'm going to do it. So here is my paper texture. And what I'll just do is I'll just make a copy of this by hitting Command J. I'm going to set it back to normal. And I'm just going to move this all the way up to the top by holding down Shift, Command, bra right bracket. And that moves your image all the way to the top. So this is the image that I'm going to work with. I'm just going to go ahead and set this to 100% so you can see what the paper texture actually looks like. Now this has kind of a, um, kind of like a faded paper type of look, which I think is really good. It looks like newsprint, which is something that I think will definitely help your um, effect. So finding a texture that is that resembles newsprint, I think will be really good. So the next step is, like I've got this occupying the entire canvas. The next thing I want to do is I want to go ahead and use my um, polygon lasso tool. And what I'll just do is I'll just come in here and make this kind of look like a very rough, triangle so you'll see what it looks like right here it's like the edges aren't perfect it kind of maybe looks like someone took a pair of scissors to it and uh, I've got this particular uh, look right here so once you have that then the important thing is uh, is you go with that selection you turn on your paper layer and you go back to the paper layer you hit command J it moves that selection onto its own space and you can see that this bottom edge here is not cleaned up. We'll take care of that here momentarily. There's several ways of doing it. Um, I'll show you one of those methods that I think might help. Um, so what I'll do here now is just to go ahead and clean this edge up here. I'll drop the opacity if I hit the V key and type in the number five, it just drops it down to 50%. And what I can do now is I can take my um, uh, rectangular marquee tool and I can just simply uh, select and hit Command X to cut. And then I might have to reposition this down just a smidge. And I'll bring this back up. So we're almost done. So you can see there's a little bit of a corner there. I'll just kind of conceal that. And maybe I'll just move it in. So you want to alter that to, to fit. And once you have that, so by itself, you know, it just doesn't really have that effect of you know, a paper that's being torn just quite yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to command or control click on the layer that contains the brown paper. And then what we'll do is we'll make a new layer above that. And then we'll pick a not quite black, but we'll pick kind of a dark gray value. And if you activate your brush tool and you choose your um, soft round brush. So I've got a soft round brush here. I've got a bunch of other brushes that I'm using here too. But the soft round brush is one of the default brushes that you get within Photoshop. So I'm just gonna go ahead and activate that. And on this new layer, what I'll do is I'll just gently kind of come in and uh, kind of paint something that will resemble like a shadow. And I don't wanna be too heavy with that. Um, you can adjust things like your opacity and flow for your brush. I just want to just make sure that I'm painting within this particular area. Now there's a slight three-dimensional look that is occurring. And to really complete this effect, what I want to do is make a new layer here and I'll go back to my inking brush and I will just draw some kind of a panel or something that just kind of looks like it's actually within the book, right? And then once again, to clean the edges up here, I will command click on the paper layer. And then on the layer that contains my inks, I'll hit shift command I to inverse the selection and cut. So now it looks like I actually have a torn cover type effect with uh, revealing something that's on the inside. So this is a really popular effect. The key thing here is, to use a, uh, the polygon lasso tool and not to make the lines super duper straight, just to give them a little bit of wonkiness. I don't know how to describe that, but you will be able to achieve that effect with no problem. So I hope you found the video to be useful. 
Let me know what your thoughts are, if you have any questions. If you wanna see this actual full-blown cover, I have it on my Instagram account, Instagram Krishna Draws. Uh, just if you get a chance, uh, feel free to connect with me on Instagram and let me know uh, what you think. Thanks so much for watching. See you in the next video.